What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Tell me showing you guys New Balance 574 Stolen Island. Okay guys, now these officially dropped today exclusively at Packer Shoes. Now if you guys try to get these earlier on the New Balance website, these sold out pretty, pretty fast. Supposedly there was only about 900 pairs from where I was hearing. Um, and then as you guys know, resale has been very, very slow as of lately. So when CSU going for 100 over, you know, it's gonna be very, very nasty. So this morning, it was just crazy over there. Um, I got there and I was probably like in the top 10-ish. And then once it was time to the store to open, people just started coming out of nowhere like it was crazy. And then it was just a big old thing. I tried to get more footage for you guys, but I had to just pay attention to what was going on and solidify myself because I had to have this shoe. I was not gonna be waiting there and not get this shoe. But uh, shout out to Pack of Shoes for dropping the shoe here, but let's get right into it, guys. So this is the box right here. As you guys can see, pretty dope box on the top. It says Stolen Island with the logo. Okay, um, then we see the two lines going across the box right there. Pretty dope. Okay, um, on the front of the box, I think with a size nine on here. Show you guys that real fast. At the top, it says New Balance, Stone Island product research. Okay, show you guys that right there. And on the right side, we see the leaf, which means they do have recycled materials on the shoe. All right, now open up the top of the box right here. As you guys can see, um, nothing on the inside of the box. I don't see any stamps or anything like that, but then we get the tissue paper. Take out this really nice colorway shoe. What do you guys think about this? Is this a copper drop for you guys? Let me know in the comments box below. Um, on the tissue paper, it says Stone Island. Going across it, I don't know if you guys can see it, but here it is right here, okay? Show you guys that real fast. On the inside of the box, we do get like a sticker in there. Okay, and it's the bottom of the box right there. All right, but uh, let's get right into it, guys. So, Stolen Island, New Balance sneaker. Here we have it. Pretty nice colorway, as you guys can see right here. Starting off with the bottom of the shoe, we get this black outsole that has the NB down there for you guys to see on both shoes. All right, so coming towards the midsole of the shoe here, at the bottom, you can see the black, and you can see those little hits of like paint speckles in it. That means that the shoe does have the recycled material in the actual sole of the shoe. All right, and then if you look towards the front of the midsole, it is in white, and then towards the back, it is in gray. Now, on both shoes on the outside of the shoe, it says NB, and under that, it says EN cap. All right, but then if you guys look on the inside of the actual shoe towards the back, it says Stone Island Product Research. All right, so that is a little hidden feature right there in that translucent on the back of the tab of the shoe right there. Pretty dope in my opinion. Okay, coming back towards the outside of the shoe right here, when you guys look at the majority of the shoe, it comes in like this nappy suede wool material. As you guys can see right there, we get the end for New Balance right there. It has some rubber finishes on it. And when you guys touch on it, it does feel like a rubber material. Okay, pretty nice in my opinion. Uh, when you do put your hand on it, it does have a little bit of a pattern change. Like when you put your hand on it and swipe it across, it does have a little bit of pattern change just in case you guys was wondering. And if you guys look towards the ankle of the shoe right there and also towards the front of the shoe, we get the same material there. We get this ripstop slash quilt material up there in green. If you guys look at that and a little bit under that, that is actually 3M. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys where all parts of the shoe does light up in 3M. So I'm gonna show you guys right here on the outside where you guys can see it lights up really, really nice. Okay, on the inside as well. And if you guys look at the front of the shoe right there, right before we get onto the tongue, it lights up right there as well. Pretty nice. Also, the back of the shoes do have that 3M effect on it as well. All right, now coming towards the inside of the shoe, we get the same thing on the shoe, pretty nice. Once again, what do you guys think about these? The current resale is going for about 200 to almost 280. So depending on sizing. So that's why, you know, these were very, very hard to get today and very exclusive. Um, and as you guys know, you know, the resale market is not what it used to be. So people are definitely gonna try to get their hands on these. Looking at the toe box on this shoe. Now these won't crease up on you because of this ripstop slash quilt like material. Okay, but I'm um, touching down on it. You know, as you guys can see right there, it does bounce back, suede on the front of the toe box as well. Looking at the mud guard here, we get the black creeping up from the bottom of the shoe. Okay, now we do get two pair of laces on these. As you guys can see, they come standard with like some white and like a beige color. And then on each pair of shoes, they actually come with the beige or brown laces. So um, they don't come on just one shoe, they actually come on both of the shoes. All right, and if you guys look at the bottom of the tongue here, we get like this wool like material. Okay, and like a yellowish mustard color. And at the top, it says Stone Island with the Stone Island logo right there. Pretty dope in my opinion. These will attract a lot of lint and dust as you guys see at the top of my shoe right there, but you know, it is what it is. Now, when you guys come toward the back of the tongue right here, it just tells you the size and everything like that. And when the shoe was produced, which is 0722. So I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. The inside of the shoe, we do get some tissue inserts. 
And if you guys look on the sock lining, it is in like a white, off-white color, kind of like a beige, okay? On the insole of the shoe, it is gray, so I'm gonna show you guys the insole right there. And on the bottom, it says Stone Island. All right, take it out for you guys, show you. This is kind of like the cheap insoles that we see on like Nike Dunk Lows and everything like that, except on the back, it doesn't have the glue marks and stuff but it is pretty nice on feet and they feel pretty comfortable under the actual insole it is white and black and then we see some black stitching in there all right coming towards the back of the shoes it says new balance in black and then the background is in gray once again that is three in material we see a little bit more of that suede like material and then we see the back tabs of the shoe and then we see the gray bottom all right now if you guys look at the tags on the shoe which i forgot to mention earlier if you guys look at this tag right here with the leaf on it it does tell you that these shoes do come from recycled material and we also get another tag right here which is in black and it says stolen island new balance on it and you can actually take out this paper right here and actually authenticate your own shoe so you just scan it and then put it into the website and it'll let you know like where you got them from if they're real and everything like that um i was going to do it for you guys but they're trying to make me sign up for all this different stuff and i was like you know what i know mine are real i got them from a source um so it is what it is if you guys want to do that but just wanted to show you guys that real quick i'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now okay guys so this is what they look like on feet pretty clean in my opinion now i'm a true size nine normally get nine and a half in all my shoes um i will say that these do run a little bit small i did go through the size and uh, they are a little bit snug on feet so in my opinion do go up half a size especially if you have a wider foot or need a little bit of extra space in your shoes now if you'd like a snug fit you can go for this but in my opinion it's a little too tight for me i'm gonna show you guys my foot is in a toe box here so while i'm wriggling around which is pretty hard for me to even do my big toe is right here so i do have space in the front of the toe box which is not the problem it's on the outside and on the inside of the foot so i just really feel my feet on this material right here so like as you guys can see this is my foot on this material right here all right where it's not moving okay now under it and a little bit for further up it does move in but as you guys can see it's just really tight on that foot bone same thing here as you guys can see you can see it moves in a little bit but my foot is on this material okay when i touch down from the top here my feet is in this material not moving down at all this material right here so definitely tighten the toe box all right as you guys see when i'm pushing down normally you'll have a little bit of space to push down but when i'm pushing on this as you guys can see it is not budging so my foot is like filling out the top of this area in the toe box i do have a little bit of space in the front of the toe box as you guys can see up there but once again that is not the problem in this shoe it's this part and on the inside of the foot is where i feel that material now this is the unlaced pair this is normally how i like to wear my shoe so when i have the pair laced up it's a little bit even tighter as you guys can see this is very narrow right there um you guys are just looking at like when i scrunch on my foot and i let it go you can see how much it spreads out but just right here is just not cutting it for me you know what i mean so in my opinion go up half a size it is a little bit snug in the toe box and i'm gonna show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now okay guys so i hope you guys like this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe show your boy some love and stay tuned